Okay, here we are for step seven. We're gonna take that precipitate that we just got in procedure six, and we're gonna add HCl dropwise. And we're gonna dissolve that precipitate. Since there's not a lot of this rust-colored precipitate, it's probably not gonna take a lot of HCl. So whenever we add things dropwise, we just add a couple drops at a time, and then stir it or shake it real well. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it. There's not a lot of that precipitate. And remember, it was a rust color precipitate that we're trying to dissolve, and there's still a little bit of that rust color there. So it's going to take a few more drops of HCl. Three more drops there. Shake it up, stir it, whichever you prefer. And it looks like it's going to take a few more drops. And once I shake it and stir it, and it's dissolved, I have this yellow colored solution. So we're ready to continue on in step seven. It says to add three drops of KSCN. KSCN is potassium thiocyanate. This is where we're gonna confirm that we do indeed have iron. We're looking for a blood red color. And here's our KSCN. It's a clear colorless solution. We're just gonna put three drops in. And we do indeed get this blood red color. If you were to go to the doctor's office and have blood drawn, uh, this is pretty much what you'd see. So uh, this confirms that we have iron. And that's the end of step seven. We'll move on in a bit here to step eight.